353 veterans, military veterans, men and women, in Queen Anne's County. Mm -hmm. We're trying to interview as many as we can. And mm -hmm. I have with me today one of my favorite veterans, one of my favorite people, mm -hmm. and a man who kept me out of trouble in education for 40 <laughs> years, Mr. Walter Pauls. Walter, thank you for coming and thank you for your service. Glad to be here. Okay. Yes. Now, Walter, everybody knows Walter and Willie Pauls. Mm -hmm. uh, they know you were outstanding. Te How many years did you all teach in the uh, county? Well, uh, Total about mine, 38 plus. 38 plus years, mm -hmm. okay. They also know you as extremely active in your local church. Yes. And is it the Mason? What's the Yeah, the Masonic. Masonic Lodge. Mm -hmm. You got the grace. I want one of those hats. Yeah, right. <laughs> the man's got the best hat. <laughs> and the Paul, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pauls, I want you to know, without a doubt, are the best dressers in Queen Anne's County. <laughs> and the man's got the best hats. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, Walter, they know mm -hmm. about your teaching. Mm -hmm. They know about your involvement. How about let's go into your military background, Okay. All right. mm -hmm. Now, what years did you serve? Okay, well, I served soon after college. I went to uh, college from 57 to 61. Okay. Okay, and then Where'd I... You, UMAS? Or? Yeah, I went to UMAS, okay. which uh, UMAS then, now it's University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Oh, so it was Maryland State. State. It was great Maryland football. State. I mean, come yes. on, you put half the players in the, NBA, or yes. the NFL, right? Yes, and then, um, of course... We had ROTC there, okay. and I was trying to go in as a first lieutenant okay. or second lieutenant, second lieutenant. rather, but uh, I decided just to go in, and I didn't really decide to go in because I got drafted. Oh, they got you? I, yes. Okay. I, uh, now, Walter, I give me a favor. Mm -hmm. A lot of young people out there have no idea what was the draft and how did they tell you, Uncle Sam wants you. <laughs> All right. Well, it, in, in my years of growing up in my background, the military was one of the places to go. And everybody uh, at that time was, uh, if you were a certain age, uh, 18 above you, you could, uh, you were, uh, not, you had to go. I mean, you know, it you was one of those things. Right? Yes, you, you had to register. register. Yeah, and after you register each year, they would check on you, okay? So my first year after registering, uh, I was at uh, Maryland State, and uh, I had to take ROTC, but I had to get a deferment to stay there. We were 2S, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, that's right. All the, all the people there in college got a 2S, 2S. deferment. That's okay. right. And I got that deferment for four years. Okay, well, you got your degree. Uh, all right. And then after the deferment for the four years, I, I got a teaching, well, I got my teacher's certificate, and I was about to go to teach, but Uncle Sam wrote me a letter and said, <laughs> you can go to teach right after you come out of the military. <laughs> well, did the letter say, Welcome, Mr. Paul. How did they, do you remember the wording at all? Well, it said, you have. <laughs> <You've been laughs> yeah, you have volunteered, <laughs> but I did not volunteer. I was selected. You were drafted, okay. Yeah, I was drafted, and uh, I uh, enjoyed the, the four years. I mean, well, the four years in college, and then I was in two years in... Uh, okay, so drafted, so you were U.S., you were yes, U.S., yes, okay. Yes, uh, yes, two years, and then, of course, uh, Statewide, uh, I was, I've been going from one state to another after different things. Well, started at Fort Meade. Well, let's go back. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. do the year. What mm -hmm. year did the dra we, were you yeah. drafted? Well, I was, I was drafted in, in 1963. 63. Yes. Yeah, do you remember your, your uh, number? Yeah. U.S. U.S. 52575033. RA 11569969. We never forget this. We no, never you forget never. this. And, and, uh, so you get the draft letter. Yeah. We get the draft letter and... They took us over to Fort Hollenberg then, and that was in Baltimore. That's where I went into. Okay, and then uh, they uh, did the paperwork there, and then they sent me to Fort Jackson. Oh, that's where you had basic training. Yeah, Fort and I had basic. Yeah. Now, well, I have to ask everybody, mm -hmm. how was basic training? Everyone ba has stories. Basic training was good for me because. Okay. At that time, Fred, I loved good physical things to do oh, okay. from college, okay. and uh, you know, and the, the routine was the same every day. Yeah. You had you had physical training. Get up, PT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, well, you had to be twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Twenty-two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, of course, they sent me from Fort Jackson to Fort Gordon. Okay, but but. Mm -hmm. Basic training, about eight weeks, mm -hmm. you learned the fundamentals, they shaved your head, yeah. and they made you, 
U.S., forget your name. Yeah. Pauls, you're a private E1, right? Day, right. And, of course, to give you the old gas chamber. And <laughs> tell, to, do me a favor. Tell folks about yeah, your gas and they tell. Well, I tell you before you go into the training that you have that uh, when you go in, you, uh, you had a mass, of course, and they tell you to clear your mass right. before you went in. Okay. And many of the young men did not Didn't listen, and they put the mask on, <laughs> and they trapped themselves oh, in no. that gas. And, of course, the sergeants were waiting there and grab them up and get <laughs> them to the door. Out. But one thing I do like uh, about the military is I would follow their direction. Eat what they say if, is uh, Yeah, if they said this and clear your mask, that's what you do. I mean, a lot of people don't believe this, but... Mm -hmm. Your experience, I'm sure mine too, mm -hmm. they basically put you in a room about the size of here. They mm -hmm. said, clear your mask, put mm -hmm. it on, mm -hmm. and then they opened a real, yes. a real exchange of yes. the chemical gas. Yeah. And didn't we have to count to three yep. or something? Yes, you did. And you yeah. put your mask mm -hmm. on, then you run out the door. Yeah, Is you that go. what it was? Well, yeah, they make sure because sometimes the guys were so uh, mis- uh, Alculated what to do, they were running around the wall trying to get out, <laughs> trying, trying, to, trying to get out. Did but you, me, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No. Did, did you also they, uh, did you also do a live grenade? Yes, did. we, we did. We did that experience. Well, yeah. that that was pretty good for, for myself because okay. I, as I said to you before, uh, when they said uh, when you pull pin, and then when they say you know you don't want that thing to flip up because <laughs> once it flips up, there's just trouble. You know, and they okay. say when they say pull pin and then prepare to throw, and then they say throw. Oh, okay. You know. So uh, it was it was awakening up experience <laughs> when that thing but hit too. But you survived basic training. Survived basic training. And from basic training, where'd you go? AIT. Advanced Individual Training. Yes. And what, what, that what was in, in Fort Gordon, Fort oh, Gordon, Signal. Georgia. Oh, Signal. You were Signal. Mm -hmm. oh, so was I. Okay, yeah. Well, well, they put me in Signal. Then they uh, gave us a battery of tests, and they said, uh, you know, uh, one. And I want to tell you this: one of the tests that I took, you know, uh, it was. Uh, 99 was my score, man, okay. and I was so happy about it, you know, and they said, well, you failed, and I said, <laughs> I said, 99, you yeah, because it was demolition school. Oh, good move, <laughs> good move. Okay. <laughs> they said it was demolition school, and they said that 1% is the percent that may blow you away. Right. So I said, well, that's not what I wanted to do, <laughs> is it? So uh, I went on from there to heavy armor. No, it's signal, what, did, they, did, you, did you actually oh, have a skill? Oh, or no? not well. Not really After, well. You know, after they started to speed it up, you know, you could. I got, I got the general information. Like they said, uh, if you hear this and then hold up your hand. So then you you hold up your hand. Some people looking around. Why are you holding up your hand? <laughs> you hold up your hand because you could understand what they're saying. Yeah. And then, but as it went along, it got more more and more difficult. Okay. And so this is all at Fort Gordon. Yes. How long were you there, Walter? Uh, eight weeks. Oh, that's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was about eight or twelve yeah. weeks. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then of course they said from Fort Gordon they sent me to Korea. Oh, you went right from Gordon to Korea? Yeah, they sent me right to Korea. After I got to Korea, they said, hey, what you doing here? And I <laughs> said, Welcome to the Army. Yeah. They don't know what you I do. said, well, here, you know, here's Give my paper. Order. This is with the paperwork. And they said, no, you can't be here because you need two years. And you've already done uh, four months, two yeah. and a, you know. You're almost done. Yeah. A year and a half. So in the next couple of days, they said, I'll unpack. They sent me back. So they flew you to Korea. Yep, flew me back. back. Now, Walter, you, uh, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. No, well, yeah. How about your OCS? You had an OCS experience? Yeah, well. Do you want to share that or not? Yeah. Oh, you? yeah, I, I'll share That's it. That's a great OCS, story in the OCS. world. Well, OCS was really, really great. That's Office of Canada School. Yeah, right. but uh, it seems like uh, at 20 or 22, uh, uh, I, my, Maturity wasn't that way, and my, yeah, yeah, my attitude wasn't that way, and <laughs> we had to do uh, things like uh, we were on the second floor of the barracks, and we had, of course, you know, the foot lockers, right, okay, right. and of course, you know, the wall lockers, mm -hmm. and we had to go up and get those and bring them down <laughs> for PT okay. in the morning, or, or you know, we had them had to have, be down there with them. Okay, and you uh, actually carry your foot locker. Yeah, out. yeah, you get your foot locker. First, it had like handles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other ones, and of course, I said uh, too that uh, the wall lockers, well, you know, they weren't that they were, heavy but because they were tall, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, can you imagine guys going up and down <laughs> with all these things? The okay, right, and uh, uh, of course, coming down, uh, I bumped into somebody bumped into me, okay. and I 
drop my uh, foot locker. Which are which, real organized and real, yes, I mean, they're, they're yes. perfectly set. Yeah, and all right, so then I put it down, as I ran up to get my foot locker, I mean my wall locker, came back down to get my wall locker, and then you gotta open it so they can see it, and then when I opened it, they see my stuff <laughs> totally rolled. Chaos. Yeah, you know. Can now I just, I, uh, mm -hmm. For those who haven't been in the military, Mm -hmm. you, and you correct me, yeah, you no. had to have shoe polish in the exact spot, your shaving gear in this exact spot, but your socks rolled up, and mm -hmm. right. it had to be perfect order. So if it was dropped yes. or something, yeah. it would get all messed up. Okay, and then, of course, that's where the problem came for me in OCS school, <laughs> because uh, I'm standing there, and it's supposed to be, you know, they're inspecting, coming down to me, and I'm trying to straighten up <laughs> the... Well, the, the officer or somebody's yeah, the yeah. yeah. And when the officer came in, you know, he got nose to nose and he said, uh, he looked down at my foot locker and he said, huh, ah, look at that, you know, one gig, you know, two gigs, you know. <laughs> and then I said to him, oh, what the heck? What the heck, excuse the term. You're right. It was, it was another heck, but heck, but it had- A little uh, strong, uh, a little yes. strong. Yes, and, um, and he and I went through confrontations and he said that, uh, I had to see the CO, and I said, well, why don't we go around the back, I understand. And, you and, said this and to an yeah. You're a hero, you know, <laughs> yeah. with a veteran club. Yeah, you yeah. said this to an officer. Yeah, yeah, you know, and let's, let's go around. And, of course, we went around and uh, did uh, something that I shouldn't have done, and that was fighting. And, <laughs> you, were, uh, you were enlisted. Yeah. What were you, like an E-4 or E-2? Yeah, E-4. E and you were fighting a lieutenant. Yeah. Well, yeah. everyone in the group says, how did you not go to jail? How yeah. did I not? So they... The, uh, when they took me into the colonel and he sat down and he opened my records and he says, man, you, you got a superb record, you know, what, you know what, what's going on? So I, then I asked him, what did uh, that foot locker and wall locker have to do with me uh, being a good tr a soldier? And yeah. he said, well, attitude, uh, behavior, and all Typical the good stuff. Typical military line. Yeah, yeah, you know. And uh, they said, uh, well, he said, well, I can give you another chance if you want to. And I said, no. Oh, you didn't want to, go, you didn't mm -hmm. want to be an officer. Mm -hmm. You know, at that time, you yeah. know, I thought, because I wasn't thinking. Good kid. Yeah, I wasn't thinking like, uh, yeah. you know. Because you had a college education. Yeah, you, you know. Radar, yeah. yeah. And uh, so they sent me back to Fort Knox. Oh, Kentucky. Mm hmm Okay, now what did you do at Fort Knox? Well, well I was in the uh, orderly room with the uh, officers, and I was typing with four fingers because that's all I could type with. <laughs> and so when you came in, uh, I'd, I'd get your information, send oh, it down okay. to headquarters oh, okay. and whatever. Uh, if you were getting ready to go home, I knew where to send you to get your things and that, get your things to go home. Okay, so you were working in the orderly room. Yeah, well, you had a college yeah, education. Yeah, yeah. So few GIs yeah. did. But the um, officers treated me well. Good. And Good. After, uh, after work day, you know, we took off our, our he, they took off so their lieutenant badge. Yeah. We saw it, we, and they picked me up. We okay. go to University of Kentucky for Did basketball you know? game, well, football you know? game. Oh, yeah. Wow. But then when they brought me back, I was still, you, you were still enlisted. Uh, st yeah, okay. still enlisted. But that's all right. That's a good thing. That's yeah, a good thing. yeah. But it was enjoyable. Now, did you eventually go into armor? I'm just trying to think of the yeah. stories. Yeah. Your tank stories are great. Hey, yeah. Tell us some tank oh, stories. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, one of the parts of, of uh, the training was that I had to, uh, well, I had to go on the foreign range, of course. Okay. And so that was with qualifying the, with an M14. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. okay. And then I had to uh, l learn all about the, the tanks and the housers and all that kind of thing. And I, I could drive the tanks. You, and oh, I you could, could actually drive? Yeah. Hey, you drive a tank with a steering wheel? Yeah. Or is it no, no, it was two levers. Oh, you have two levers? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And uh, anyway, uh, th that was a good experience for me, well, too. Let me go back. Let me mm -hmm. stay with the tank. You mm -hmm. told some great stories a couple weeks ago yeah. up with our uh, veterans group. Mm -hmm. What's it like, the size of it? What's it like? We used to call them coffins on wheels. That's right. What, what was it, what's it, what's it like yeah, in because, a tank? Because once, once they put the hatch down and lock okay. the hatch in. Well, you actually you lock are, it. Yes. Okay. You're locked in, and you're locked in, and you're like uh, a potato in an oven. <laughs> How many of you locked in? Uh, it's... it's uh, Two, three, uh, three of us. Three. Two down there, and then one up in the top. Okay. Well, they just uh, locked in a space about as big as a car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's about, and, and that's about, you know, you you don't have a whole lot of room, and. Uh, uh, what was the air like and the humidity and the? It well, we were 
M60 and they were diesel. M60 diesel, oh, yeah. that's just put out all yeah. types of fuels. Yeah. yeah, and one of the things we love to do is to catch the uh, uh, other people who weren't tanks, whether the infantry, walking, and then we gear the, the uh, tanks down to low gear and blow, <laughs> blow the dust blow all the over. Dust <laughs> the but inside, yeah. the, was it real hot? Yeah, it was hot, but they had a good cooling system. Oh, they had a cooling yeah, system. Yeah, they had a cooling okay. system. They had a heat system. Okay. You know, they, they had all of those. Oh, so they kept but, it fairly comfortable. But the, one of the things about it was the noise that it made once you shoot that uh, at, M, at 150. Oh, the yeah, Real because she, cause she rock you, she rock oh, you when you were in there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now, would you... Was there one guy driving, one guy doing the... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was live ammunition in the tank. Yeah. So if they hit the tank with any other live ammunition, you're in trouble, right? Yep. Cook. Look, what, what, what did you hear him say? Cook your goose, <laughs> you'll cook goose. Now, I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. when you're in a tank, these, it's going to sound very mm -hmm. stupid. No. Go ahead. Do you spend all day in the tank or just a couple hours? Or how does that work? Well, it all depends on where you had oh, to go. Where you are. Okay. Yeah, where you had to go to. If we were going out for uh, maneuvers, mm -hmm. well, maneuvers going to be all day. All day. Yeah, all now, day. Now, how about would you spend the night in the tank? No. no okay, no. we we spend the night outside of the tank. You sleep outside. Yeah. The tank. Yeah. You sleeping sleep. bags, just like I did. Here. Right. Okay. Sleeping bag, tents, oh, and the whole nine yards. Now, again, mm. stupid question. No. Mm -hmm. What happens when you have to go to the restroom in a tank? Well, uh, I, for one, the first thing you got to do <laughs> is find some place where you can get out of there. And, oh, you got go to get out of the tank. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. again, uh, mm -hmm. one guy, you, is that what you, your job was just driving or you did all the yeah, Well, I was uh, one of the, I learned how to drive it, but I was mostly telling them, you know, reading, reading the directions or they had uh, compasses and uh, okay. depth finders okay. and all like well, you that. Were college grad. You yeah, you know, stuff. and uh, you were telling them, you know, it, you know, it, it, it has direction. Almost, well, no, I can't say it like the GPS because it didn't tell you go left or go no, right. No, okay. You were telling it to go left oh, or go right, right but well, you were following the map. Oh, you just following the map. Mm -hmm. Now, Walter, mm -hmm. again, stupid question. Mm -hmm. How do you see out of a tank? <laughs> Oh, it's 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 good. It's it's built so uh, you you looking through. Uh, it's, it's like uh, the binoculars okay. when you on the inside. Okay. You can see. You know. You can so see. You're looking at. You're not looking through a window. You're looking through no, binoculars. Like yeah, yeah. No windows. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -mm. So you look at. Now is the driver doing? I'm trying to figure. You get, is he driving, looking through? Or yeah, you, you have to tell him where to go. No, he's driving. He's looking through because he's got uh, a direction finder. What viewfinder? They said to keep. You know, he's telling you supposed to be following this road okay. and that road okay. and that road okay. and things like that. It's it's really it's after tough. you get. Yeah, it is. It, it is tough. And uh, uh, I, I remember. Did you one enjoy thing. it or not? Oh yes, I did. Oh, you did enjoy it. I, I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because one of the things I knew how. Two years and I would be out of there if I wanted to be. But that I found out when I came back, she said I got four years in reserve. Reserves, yeah. You know, which Inactive was reserves. yeah, it was which was uh, two to two to two to four weeks out of a year oh, each you, year. You had to go to the yeah. camp and say, mm -hmm. oh, see the RAs we didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After three years of service, yeah, we were, you, we were yeah. on the paper soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. See, we we weren't. We had to. At least, we had to have four years. Okay, yeah. so you did two years active, yeah. two years. Oh, see, that was yeah. the difference mm -hmm. between you. Yes. But you were smarter because you went U.S. Trust <laughs> me, you were, I had three years. Let me go back to the tank and then we'll mm -hmm. move on. So the guy's driving the tank. Someone's mm -hmm. giving directions. Mm -hmm. You've got the cannon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have machine guns? What else yeah. do you have? Yeah, we have, you have a 50 caliber machine gun. Now, who operated who, those? Uh, tank commander up top. What rank is he, Walter? He was all of us, what we call slick sleeves, uh, with <laughs> e e either sergeants, oh. corporal, or oh, specialist okay. four. You so know no mean? officers? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. No, the officers just commanding. And, the whole group? Uh, yeah, the whole group. How, and again, because mm -hmm. I know not, uh, is it like a platoon of soldiers? Are there so many tanks in a unit? Yeah, that's right. How many and we, and, and uh, we, had, uh, the, we had so many tanks, and then the officer was one you know, well, we would call, we would be like Tank 22. Okay. Uh, tank 22, I want to talk to you, you know, and how you doing? what's going Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, was he in a tank also, or was he back at a No, headquarters? no, he was, he was probably back somewhere nice and safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had sheets and beds yeah. and the warm food. Yeah. So, how, now, 
So you were at Campbell. Did you stay there the rest of your career? Or? Yes. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And tanks the whole time? Mm hmm Oh, okay. And back in the Arley Room, you know, when I wasn't on the field, I was in the Arley Room. And then I came back to the Arley Room, and I had the, uh, the commander, uh, he had a Jeep. And he would say that I want to go to battalion, whatever. And at my you job, yeah, I jump in there. Well, you were in a good spot, me, college yeah, education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could type, you know, even though it was mm -hmm. four, it doesn't matter how many fingers you yeah. could type. Yeah. So, oh, you, so you had split duty life. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, of course, uh, I took a couple courses while I was there because you could go to co you know, college, you could courses. college courses, okay. you know. Okay. Because then when, uh, when I did come out, I went on to uh, uh, University of Maryland. Uh, College Park, okay. and I got a master's there. Okay. Uh, oh, well, well, matter of fact, I got two masters there. Two masters. What I are got masters a, in? a master's in uh, education, okay. and, and and the other one was in in uh, edu was special education. Special ed. Special ed and and and, and, and education okay. itself. Mm -hmm. Walter, when you were at camp, I mean, I always because I had mm -hmm. an, I had an Air Force. Bill Moore was here last week, mm -hmm. and he was talking about in Thailand mm -hmm. at a certain hour. They could get out of their military outfit, five o'clock, go downtown in civilian clothes. Mm -hmm. And that was in, did you have that, what was the no, day like no, in Campbell? No, yeah. no, no, you, you could, uh, after, if you, 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 after duty, you couldn't leave unless you got a pass. Oh, so you had to stay on base. Yeah, okay. yeah unless you got a pass. Uh, and then, you know, most of the guys went down to the uh, place where you- NCO drink. club or yeah, EM club, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, no, now so on the weekend, they would, you can get a pass. Now what, you know, mm -hmm. what's, uh, what, t what town's around Campbell? I don't know anything about Oh, Campbell. oh, see, I was at uh, Louisville. That's where it is, Louisville, mm -hmm. Kentucky? Mm -hmm. oh, is that a good oh, place to go? Oh, yeah, it's a good, what's good Louisville? picture. Well, uh, of course, that's where I had to go, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you wear civilian clothes uh, in the weekend? Uh, yeah. If you, if you got a pass? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And uh, most of it, you know, there's a lot of uh, things to do Especially, it's a pretty good size. It's, it's a city. It's city. It was yeah, a city. Okay. yeah, you know, okay. and uh, and as I said before, it's also good uh, beaches and that kind of thing. Oh, beaches? Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. it was a lake or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know. That. I said I knew yeah. nothing about that. Yeah, and uh, the other thing uh, was uh, on the post, they had a lot of things to do. Okay. Uh, you, if you were, if PS's yeah, if you were, if you were. Uh, 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 golf were player. An, were you an NCO? Are you still E4? What, what? Yes. Yeah, I stayed that. You, that's what mm -hmm. I did, E4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. It, but it was it was good, and there was always movies. Of course, there's church yeah. on Sundays, and, and uh, uh, always something to do. Well, Campbell yeah. is a big, I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. like Fort Bragg or Gordon. Mm -hmm. It's a huge base, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. PXs, yeah. movies. Yeah. See, I was at Fort Knox. I'm sorry, Knox, what yeah. I said, mm -hmm. Campbell, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but it was a big base. Yes. A lot to do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That was, the, Walter, the best thing for me in the Army, mm -hmm. I could see a movie for five cents, if not free. Mm -hmm. The PX, mm -hmm. I was buying tape recorders I was sending to my parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, in the old days, PXs were like the greatest deal in the world. Yeah. I was buying $300 was a lot of money in, mm -hmm. in the 60s. Mm -hmm. I was buying $300 Sony tape-to-tape, reel-to-reel mm -hmm. mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. for like $150. Mm -hmm. and my father would say, I, there's no, and I can't buy it like I got one at home right now. You still have one. Still have one. Tell everybody where do you, yeah. have, you have a real to real. Yes, Tell indeed. Everybody, no one, anyone yeah. under fifty has no idea what a yeah, real is. Yeah, yeah. It, it well, it, it's a but, but the man said it, it's a big tape, yeah. Yeah. It, you, yeah. and and it's real to real because it goes from one reel to another. And, but those reels were like that, yes. and it, it, they were really good. And people are gonna, the young kids are gonna laugh at us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy records. There's mm -hmm. no such thing as a CD. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as tape. Mm -hmm. We would buy. Say the Supremes, mm -hmm. and you put the t and they were on mm -hmm. actually like Scotch tape. Yeah, I mean they're not sticky, mm -hmm. and you'd have to run it through one reel mm -hmm. to another. It's a yeah. whole different yeah. way to listen to music. Right? That's right. That's right. And, and then we, of course we had the A track, uh, but that yes. was but then you know we, then we we on our way up a little bit after that. Okay. But, now, uh, well, let me ask you: when you were in the army, could you come home often? No, no. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh, not really, because like you know, I was in Kentucky, and then I had to get from Kentucky to back to let's say back to Centerville. It wasn't comfortable traveling. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, most of the time, uh, th you got a good experience from being in it. Okay. Yeah. Did you get? Would you get home for Christmas? 
Okay. Yes. So yeah. They would yeah. Give you could. Leave yeah. Them. You could put in for leave, and okay. you get X amount of days, like you know that, and you make sure yeah. you you stay Was within it thirty them. days leave you, a year. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The best thing that happened to me, Walter, because I was in Korea, Tong Lishan, Korea, mm -hmm. and right to Vietnam. It seems like I had sixty days leave or something because I, I couldn't mm -hmm. go anywhere. I got this nice little cash. Re hey, here's thirty mm -hmm. days worth of pay, right? Which mm -hmm. wasn't any good, mm -hmm. but at least it was mm -hmm. some money, right? Yeah. Well, okay, how about, I got to ask everybody experience. Mm -hmm. How was the food when you were in the military? Well, you know what? The food in the company where we were, were was excellent. Oh, it was good, okay. Yes, it was. Okay, starting with breakfast. Um, when you uh, got that for breakfast, and the thing say, say they would ask you, when you, how many eggs you want? Mm -hmm. And down here, they ask you, how many eggs you want? Right. And you said, you know, three. Well, how you want them? And you said scrambled. Then by the time you get down here, they're done. They're done. Yeah. And they used to. I don't know about yeah. you. I mm -hmm. had the best French toast. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we used to call it SOS. I won't go into details yes, about that, that. That's right. And it seemed like they always had biscuits. Yes. Well, yeah. Walter, how about you? When I was in Korea, I went from 155 to 185. Yes. Until it, uh, I remember a sergeant saying to me. Mac, what is, I, mean, I look like a balloon, I mm -hmm. stopped eating. Mm -hmm. Did you put on weight or no? Oh or yeah, you oh did? yeah, okay. yeah you did. And, uh, and, and of course, they had the milk machines right there, yes, yeah. the, the, the white milk. Yeah, thing, yeah, you know. And uh, we would always try to get seats close to that because uh, <laughs> we would, yeah, we drank a lot of milk and we'd say, <laughs> all right, DRO, no milk in here, you know. And then he was <laughs> and going and to get the milk and it. fill it up, oh, okay. you know. What was your, when I was in Korea, the favorite meal, I think in Vietnam too, was a Sunday meal because they would clean out all the leftovers and you had roast beef. You, I mean, you had mm -hmm. everything in there. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite food in the army? Turkey. Oh, the turkey? Yeah, really? it was Hot turkey. turkey. Yes. It was good. I mean, real turkey, you know what I mean? Real fresh. You know, and, uh, you know, like I said, the food at the big company we were in, okay. that I was in, was a good that they had the excellent cooks, excellent cooks, oh, because so you know yourself when you're cooking for a lot of people. It's a different type of cooking. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, but it, they cook. We could. They it was really good. Cook. So you had yes. a good experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Walter, I also asked other vet, would you go in again if you, or would you say, I'm, I, I'm about 50-50 with the veterans. Mm -hmm. Half said, yeah, it's, it's a good mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. I matured. I grew. Mm -hmm. I'm in my case. Yeah. I went in a 19-year-old punk, and I came out a 22-year-old. Mm -hmm. Still yeah, fighting yeah. things, but a little smoother. Yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah. I thought it was. I thought it yes, you and because I, I think it would be a, a good experience for the guys right today, okay. especially the ones that say they can't get a job or they don't do this. I think it would be a good experience. Well, John, know. I don't know how you feel. A, a couple of the veterans have said they're in favor of everybody when they graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. Give your country one or two years. Mm -hmm. now, you have your choice: military, a hospital. Mm -hmm. Work on you know parks mm -hmm. and but you know mm -hmm. give some service to your country. Yeah, as a veteran. Yeah, because see a lot of the people during my day also uh, the guys they went in uh, corps, uh, peace corps, peace corps, peace right. corps. You know, right. but if they went to peace corps, they didn't have to go in the you military. Gotta, you, gotta you know what I mean? You yeah, that would mm -hmm. count as your two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I would I would do it again, but I, I it's interesting how it's like a fifty fifty split. Mm -hmm. Walter, I do want you to know, and I want the audience to know, you mesmerized us a couple of weeks ago. Bob Nielsen, who you've become friends with, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he's always upset when you're not there. Uh -huh. He says, Walter told the best stories. See, most of us, I never, I've never been in a tank in my life. Mm -hmm. I, and just mm -hmm. what I see on TV, mm -hmm. I can't imagine you seal yourself inside. Mm -hmm. You've got one guy driving, mm -hmm. one guy mm -hmm. giving directions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have live ammunition in there. Yes. Is, and how big is a fuel tank? Uh... You know, I mean, uh, it's uh, twenty. You, go ahead. Yeah, we, we, we like I said, we were there were diesels the one we had, and okay. and I, I I was thinking they had fifteen to twenty gallons. Now mm -hmm. again, stupid. Hmm? Did someone follow you with diesel fuel? How did no, you, oh, no, no. We would fuel up at the uh, at the place in the morning. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. And then it, depending on how how much running you did, because they would have trucks to okay. come out. With, with it on because... Oh, they take it to the field and yeah. just go to... Yeah. just drive mm -hmm. up and... Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, Walter, look at our time's almost up. Now, was okay. that not the quickest 30 minutes? Oh, before? yes. Enjoy Walter and all mm -hmm. these veterans, yes. I twist their arms and they're very gracious and, yeah. they, and they appear and I really appreciate it, Walter. Well, we, we enjoyed it. Okay. I enjoy it. And Walter, we remind everybody, mm -hmm. every Monday mm -hmm. at Dunkin' Donuts in That's Centerville... Right. That's right. ...from 11 to 12, 
any military veteran, mm -hmm. any friend of the military veterans, we have a coffee thing. There were 16 of us last week. Oh, good. That's we good. just talk. There's no structure. There's mm -hmm. no, we mm -hmm. don't, and we got Air Force, Coast Guard, Marines, Army. We got everybody. Everybody's there. Every, and it's fun, right? Don't you mm -hmm. think it's fun? Yes. We have, a, we have men, women. We don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. We have a book club the mm -hmm. second Tuesday of the month at the Centerville Library. Mm -hmm. We've got a boat walk. We've got this great, wait, to, did you t ever teach Brandon Moore? No. Mm -mm. Well, he's going to take us out in the bay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, just for two hours, mm -hmm. and James Watson said he's never been in a boat in his life. We're going to carry him on a yeah, boat. Yeah, right? that's good. Okay. That's good. Well, Walter, again, thank you very much for your service. All right. Thank you for being with us today. Yes. And tell Mrs. Pauls I won't bug her anymore with phone calls. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> My name's Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your service. We appreciate it. And, of course, Mr. Paul's outstanding teacher, outstanding member of the community, and an Army veteran. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time. And I salute all the veterans out in the community. Thank you very much. Yeah.